future is electric. It's exciting. And guess what? The future is now because we are building this hybrid electric airplane and the first product that we'll have will be available by 2024. We're not going to wait until the total uh, you know, battery technologies to catch, catch up for all electric airplanes. It's going to be hybrid electric in the beginning. Yes, yeah, so this plane here is the original airframe, is the Cessna 337 Skymaster. So it's one of the only push-pull configuration aircraft and that worked great for us in that we were able to take the front engine and replace it with an electric motor but keep the original engine in the back for redundancy and safety, especially when this is its first of its kind. You want to have some peace of mind, you know, first time you're flying. Even though it seems like uh, we've took away a lot of space, volume constraints was still a main problem. Our also our main thing was weight and balance. We've just put a massive, pretty heavy load right below the aircraft. So that's engineering wise, that was our, our big major, major challenges was these structural mods. But the, the main thing of using this retrofit is that our airframe was already certified. So we didn't need to recertify the airframe, we just needed to certify the changes we'd done and the electrical powertrain system. So it was a year to con from getting it to conception for an experimental certificate. Then we got marked with survey and we moved it to the UK and it was able to fly over 450 nautical miles. So the weirdest thing about operating this airplane is probably just the, the fact that you have to, what seems like it should be the same, right? More power, or less power, ends up being so complex because you have two totally different power systems. So for instance, if like an air to air flight like we did yesterday, right? Uh, I will set the recip at a power that is for just about the amount of power I need to hold altitude, and then I'll be using the electric separately to add more or remove more excess power to climb into the photo ship or out of it, right? You're not moving the throttles together. The electric is just a big, dumb, simple knob. You just put it where you want, check your, uh, your power output, and it's done. With a recip, right, we're changing propeller settings and making sure the mixture's right, all this stuff. So, so that combination of having to figure out how to, to work whatever the problem is. Up in cruise, it's no big deal. You just set them up and you leave it, forget it, just like any other airplane. But as we get into these complex modes of flight, like air to air, like we mentioned before, or like the demo this afternoon, it gets a little bit more complicated to figure out what hand should be doing what when. The flight was outstanding and it's record breaking because it's the first time in history that a hybrid electric airplane ever flew 1,880 miles in total with the longest non-stop leg of 1135 miles and all on one charge from California to Oshkosh. And the longest leg, we only use 100 gallons of fuel. And comparing to the stock Cessna 337, it's a 40% saving. We're not the Boeing company. Startup, we have very fast iterations. You know, we build and test, build and test. And so that iteration loops because you learn a lot from the testing. We do these build and test in cycles, you know, because everything is theoretical, you do your design. We're not going to wait until we did uh, the detailed design and then do the test because that loop is very long. This is just so impressive to me as an ex-Boeing employee where, you know, we worked on those airplanes, the tube and wings and so on for, for uh, well, I personally worked 20 years. And here you have this tiny little airplane, but we were able to revolutionize the way how it's propelled and really change the whole landscape. I mean, this is just the beginning. You can imagine one day in those big airplanes, we're going to scale up and really drastically change the way how we fly. It will be cleaner, quieter, and a lot more affordable.